we we studied church, begging for help, begging for help. The police department couldn't even help us. After they found my baby dead, they couldn't even help us. The bastards! stories out there man that's what i'm saying about it's... being next to someone who had to get that call and you don't even know how to man listen man i don't believe it i just don't believe it There's one of them that I found out right here. It's a, a 18 year old. Her name is uh, Eugenia Marshall Walker. Mm. And she was spotted on the Crown Plaza Hotel surveillance footage the night of the party. Now trip this out. She died in a DUI crash. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, yeah. And the trip part about it, Jeez. she was found lying in the street nearby and was pronounced dead on the scene according to the police and uh cook county medical so here's the trip part guess who was driving behind the wheel yo who was swerving <laughs> okay, all right cry. trip this out her name was jaylen ford i don't know how to pronounce the name all i know is J -Y Lim ford which she was 19 years old she was the driver driving behind the wheel smoking some weed drinking some wine you know what i'm saying drinking draw yeah she had a uh, a freaking nissan altima and it was slammed into the concrete mm, it made all like yeah it was like paper the like. wheel hit the church you feel me this was in uh west roosevelt road at about 2 30 a.m on monday september 11 2017. now uh, this girl, Eugenia, was in the back seat. And there was another person that was in the passenger seat, which I don't know who was in the passenger seat. All I know was the girl, which was 19 years old, Jalen Ford. Now, if people don't know who Jalen Ford is, she's Monifa's best friend. Word? Word. 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 Yes, sir. It's deep right there. Yes, that's her, sir. That's her Brody. That's that's mm. that's her bestie. But come to find Ooh. out, I didn't know that she was a transgender. Hold on, what? Take that back. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on. That was a man. Yeah, supposedly a girl with a scar on her forehead. She was rushed to the hospital. People need to understand because they're saying that she died the night that Kanika died. No, she died September 11. Mm. Kanika Jenkins was found dead in the hotel Crown Plaza, which was uh, on September 10th. You see what I'm saying? Because they had to wait three days to, to, to really find out where Kanika was. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if she was walking when she was leaving. You feel me? Or she was walking looking for Kanika, who knows? You know, they got a lot of stories out there. He's at the double tree, popped off at the double tree. Mm -hmm. Then they went back to the, you know what I mean, the plaza. So, mm -hmm. 
It's all type of stories gonna throw you off. Yeah. Picture they got butchers walking down halls. Yeah, the butcher. Security with bags and as if they harvesting bodies out there because there's no law saying that they can't take your organs out. No, not against the law out there. It's not against the law out there. That's the sad part. Mm. That's what I was saying. The doc from Tempo was saying, but he wasn't showing no facts. But he was saying. He I mean, he was saying things. Yeah, he was saying things that made sense, but he didn't show no documents. He was though. reading. You see his head. He had it low, but he was, he was mainly aiming at the people who was criticizing him for coming with his facts. Right. So right. I don't know. You know, yeah. you might want to clear his name, but if he'd have held that paper and let me see them words and yeah dates and all that. Cause that's the only way I'ma believe a certain situation. He read it looking down, is, though. Is looking like he was doing show something. documents, y'all. Show us some documentation proving that it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be telling us. He's talking about his boys in Temple. My my background speak for itself. I'm like, okay, because he was he had me listening to him. I I thought he made yeah. some sense, but I mean, you know, a lot of people a lot of people have there. have you know great backgrounds and everything. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, he was making some sense as if they were, you know, of what he was saying. You know, I saw his videos, you know what I'm saying? And I saw, you know, some videos of Chosen Kings when they went to the Crown Plaza Hotel. Mm. And then I saw uh, a few other people that touched on the whole ordeal with, with, with Kanika Jenkins and all. We are here at the FBI building in Washington, D.C., in front of the headquarters. Hey, how you guys doing? Are you aware about all the ingest that's going on across our country? We got a 19-year-old girl that was found murdered inside of Crown Plaza Hotel. She was found murdered, and they ruled it in an accident. But they ruled it an accident, but they did not mention that her pants was down. They did not mention that her chest was out and she had bruises, her lip was busted, and so many other things. The police poorly investigated. They never did any kind of fingerprint on the scene. These are all, uh, a few cases of the injustice uh, that is going on across this country. Along with that, I have plenty of other letters uh, with the ingest that is happening. And we need to stand in unity like never before. Here's the pictures, look at this. This is, this is the girl, see? Did you see these pictures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw these pictures, do they look like an accident? No. Exactly, but they have ruled this an accident and they have covered this up and we can no longer stand by and allow this to continue to happen in our country. We have given the given authority for so long putting trust in the government and they are failing us. They are failing us so much. If these many cases of injustice constantly going on, then what's left for us to do? Stand up, stand together in love and unity and show them that as long as we are standing up in love and unity, love conquers all. Did you get the picture? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You want one? Okay, so that's the... Um, yes. Yes, you remember him? Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yes, so we are standing for all the injustice that is going on. Um, so much these wonderful ladies are here in Washington DC and they support what we're doing and but they got something to do. But we thank them so much. Use your platform to continue to bring awareness. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Are you guys aware of all the injustice that's going on across our country? All of the murders that has been happening and people have been uh, putting a silent ear to this. A young lady by the name of Kanika Jenkins was found in the freezer dead and they have ruled this an accident. You guys familiar with the injustice that is going on across our country? 19 year old was found in the freezer and they have ruled it an accident. There's the pictures to show you it was no accident. All these lives that's been murdered and taken away from us because of the injustice of our system. Hey, are you guys familiar with the injustice that is going on across our country? All the young people that are being killed day in and day out, we have put our trust in the, in the government and they have failed us. They have failed us. They have failed us with the proper resources, the proper polices that can stand up and take care of the community. They're not doing that anymore. Continue to uh, bring awareness. We'll be out here for some time. If you got any family, come on back out and stand with us.
Williams yeah. was protesting at the FBI building to get them to reopen Kanika Jenkins' case. Yeah. And the only reason why it's so hard for them to, to really get down to this investigation is too many people that's on YouTube, that's on social media, that's on Instagram, that's on Twitter, is doing investigations saying this is what, this is that. Only people that really know is Larry Rogers Jr. And whoever the private investigator that they hire only know the facts of what's really going down. Hey, see, but my mind is going crazy because I'm looking at like a million black people in jail right now. If he say, she say, though. Mm -hmm. Off of and hearsay. It ain't, and ain't nobody even went barely went down to the station and got nervous right they ain't even got you feeling they ain't even made them want to get a cup with the lobster and they ain't even made them feel <coughs> like that like on the first 48 yeah they ain't even did put them in one and of them you, little rooms and, and you know we watched the first 48 put them, one, put them in one of them little rooms they ain't let me down yet come mm -mm. on now mm -mm. they're gonna be asking for a cigarette in no time yeah yeah tell me get, where were you in the night when kanika was murdered can i get a cigarette I can see it now. She, can I get some water? <laughs> Hurry up. Can I get some water? This how it happened. That simple. Right, right. Put her in there. Put her in the little room. Right. She's going to smack her lips all the way to some more. And it was, and then we did, and then I, I didn't want to. I really liked it. She's going to really break down. Yeah. Mm, mm, Put her in the mm. little room. Mm, mm, Put her mm. in the little room. That's crazy business right there. That's crazy. Hey, we need to get up on here with this commercial break right quick y'all so stay tuned we'll be right back here on raw talk When it comes to African American history, it is so codified and so covered that it, I, I, I've, I've just read some of those and they've named about like, there were like five different folks that they claim were, were before it was really George Washington. And then in, in between that, that we've had several people of African heritage. It's a lot of stuff that, that, um, that our people have done, and that been excluded us. Martin Luther King Jr. was, he was a civil rights activist. And, you know, during his days of studying, you know, Gandhi and applying his, you know, his, his education towards Morehouse, which is a college for black men. The importance of Dr. King's legacy to me is just, it's a story of, uh, of faith, humility, and strength, you know what I mean, to go through that struggle and still be able to. Order the Black History Story, the past and the present. Rent, download, order your hard copy now at Amazon.com. Donate to Ethic Radio at GoFundMe.com slash Ethic Radio. That's GoFundMe.com slash Ethic Radio. You're listening and tuning into Ethic Radio. 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 Broadcasting live from Los Angeles, California. All right, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Don't forget to order the Black History Story, the past and the present on Amazon.com. Get that. Get that. Get that documentary movie. You know what I mean? You can rent it. You can download it. You can also order the hard copy of the Black History Story, the past and the present. It is Black History Month, by the way. And it's a lot of great things that we're learning every day about black history because every day should be black history, not just once every, once a month every year. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Straight up, y'all. That's, that's just like bottom line, a proven fact that every day should be black history. But I think with all this, with all this commotion going on, I mean, with the whole school shooting that happened on Valentine's Day. Wow. And then plus we still on this whole Kanika Jenkins movement. And the only reason why, like a lot of people will say, why y'all still on this case and everything? Because it's justice for Kanika, y'all. Let's just keep it real.
There's so many discrepancies, there's so many stories, there's so many agendas, there's so many things that didn't add up in the beginning, but as the information has developed along the way, then it was like, oh, oh, this makes sense. I mean, see, here's the thing, you know what I mean? When we put out our content, we take time analyzing our content to make sure the information is accurate gotta because analyze. man you got people out here saying this shit is a fake that's a fake want the fame ah oh, man the fame man i mean it's just crazy 